Hi, myself Dr. Abbas Vatol, Assistant Professor, Amal College of Advanced Studies, Nilambu. This is the fourth part of our video tutorial series on PG Project Data Analysis using MS Excel. In the earlier episodes, we discussed about entering data into MS Excel, generating pivot tables, and making a chi-square test. And in this part, we will be discussing about descriptive statistics and ANOVA test. Our project topic is Household Satisfaction Towards Waste Management Services in Malapuram Municipality. Today, we will be doing these two analysis, descriptive analysis of satisfaction and differences in the satisfaction with respect to income. First, we can do the descriptive analysis. So, we can go to the data set. So, this is the data set with us and this is the satisfaction. Satisfaction was measured in terms of four sub-variables and these variables are further measured in rating scale in 1 to 10. 10 means highest satisfaction and 1 means lowest level of satisfaction. Here, we have calculated an overall satisfaction score. Actually, uh, it is the sum of these four sub-variables. I am making it into average using the auto sum equation. That is average. So, I am copying this formula till the end of this data set by clicking on the plus button. So, these are the five numerical variable we want to summarize now. Actually, if in univariate analysis, if it is a categorical variable, we prepare the frequency table. We have seen that example earlier. Here, this is a continuous variable. In case of continuous variable, we make descriptive statistics or we calculate descriptive statistics. The descriptive statistics are summary measures like mean, median, mode, standard deviation, skewness, kurtosis, etc. So, for categorical variable, we make frequency table and for continuous variable or numeric variable, we make or we calculate descriptives. In order to make the descriptive analysis, you have to go to the data tab where you can see the data analysis. Sometimes, in the default MS Excel, you cannot find this command. So, you have to go to file menu, Excel options, where you can see the add-ins. In add-ins, if it is not listed in this active applications, you have to go to manage add-ins and tick these two analysis tool packs. Then only you will be seeing these data analysis option. So once it is ready, go to the data analysis and select descriptive statistics. Then select your data range. I am selecting the four satisfaction statement and one summary measures. Click on the labels and click on the summary statistics and confidence level. Press OK. So this is the summary statistics. For making some modification, I am copying this table from here to a new Excel worksheet. So this is here and to make it readable, I am just wrapping the text in the third row and here you can see that these headings are repeated in different columns. So to avoid that repetition, I am trying to delete that columns. So this one, this one, this one and this one, I am deleting these columns from here. Similarly, so many summary measures have been listed. So, I am interested only in mean, mean, standard deviation, mean, standard deviation and confidence level. So, I am deleting all other unimportant summary measures, columns. See, our table is almost ready. Now I am removing that wrap text and to make it more reader friendly, I am copying this table from here and transposing the rows and columns. 
so this is our new table I am giving the heading here satisfaction statements that is statements of satisfaction statements of satisfaction so this table I am copying from here and to the our word file as usual we are making the all borders and central align and also resizing the table so this is our table so I am giving a title to this table using insert caption so this is the descriptive statistics for satisfaction statement from this table what you understand that out of the four statements used for measuring satisfaction the third one regarding the behavior of the service staff got the highest mean score for satisfaction or mean level of satisfaction similarly the type of waste collected has a, the lowest mean level and overall satisfaction score out of 10 is 6.72 this is the interpretation of this table our next objective is to analyze the differences in satisfaction with respect to income. That means we have two variables satisfaction and income and we want to study whether there is any difference in the level of satisfaction with respect to different income class. So we can go to the data set. This is the income level with the three categories and this is the overall satisfaction score. It is in the numerical scale and it is in the categorical scale actually when there is one numerical scale or continuous scale variable and one categorical variable and if we want to study this relationship we use ANOVA test to be very specific this is the dependent variable that is satisfaction score and this is the independent variable when our dependent variable is in the continuous scale or numerical scale and we have one independent variable with more than two categories we use the analysis of variance test or ANOVA test so in order to compare the sat mean score of satisfaction with respect to these three income group we have to use the ANOVA test. So first of all before doing the ANOVA test we can just see what is the mean level of satisfaction for these three income group. For that purpose we can go to insert and take the PVF table for these income levels. So I am selecting the complete data set and uh, using this uh, income level dragging to the row label and overall satisfaction to the values and uh, making the settings field settings as an average so this is our table this is the income level and this is the mean level of satisfaction so we can copy this table into our word file We can make the regular formattings for this table also. And we can give a heading for this table using insert caption that is mean level of satisfaction. Actually, in order to do the ANOVA test. First of all, you have to group these overall satisfaction score based on the income level. So for that purpose, I am using the filter option and then sorting the income from A to Z and then copying the overall satisfaction for the lower income category first and pasting it into a new Excel sheet 
and naming it as lower then going back to the data set I am copying the satisfaction score for middle income group satisfaction score for the middle income group and pasting it in the adjustment column and naming it as model going back to our data set and copying the remaining satisfaction score and pasting it here and naming it as upper so our data set is ready now go to data analysis choose the ANOVA single factor and select this data set select this data set and tick on these labels and now click OK so this is your ANOVA table so we can copy these tables to our word file I am I have copied the first one and also the second table is here I am copying the second table from here to the word file now we can make the formatting for this table as usual and we can resize this and give a heading for this actually this table is about uh, summary statistics summary statistics and this table make the usual formatting central alignment and also we can resize it then only it become readable and give a heading for this table also this is ANOVA table actually ANOVA test start with a null hypothesis we can give a heading as result of one way ANOVA test the null hypothesis H0 there is no difference in the level of satisfaction with respect to the income this is the summary statistics this shows the mean level of satisfaction for three different groups of income and their respective variances and this is the ANOVA table this shows variations between the group and within the group this is the F value and this is the p-value of the ANOVA test and this is the critical value actually here the p-value is a very small figure that is why it is written in the exponential form if the p-value is less than 0 0.05 it means the ANOVA test is significant that means there is association or we can say there is significant difference in the level of satisfaction with respect to income group we you can also compare this the calculated value of f and the critical value of f if the calculated value is more than the critical value it means null hypothesis is rejected and alternative hypothesis is accepted so our interpretation is that there is significant difference in the level of satisfaction with respect to income class of the household so this is all about ANOVA test in the next class we will be discussing about analysis of a ranking scale question. Thank you.